Hello everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we will be doing our October budget. We are a little bit behind, but let's hop right into it. If that is something that you would be interested in, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so let's start our October budget. I was going to say September, but our October budget. Um, I'll also be doing a September closeout budget. Um, this was September. Now, I ended up paying my car insurance yesterday, which was the fourth. But so I'm not still not going to include that. I should, but I'm, I'm just not. Um, so I want to put that little disclaimer out there. And I'm going to put this over to the side. So if you're new here, once a month, we just do our budget breakdown. Um, we list our streams of income and try to see what we will have left for our sinking funds and our cash envelopes. So first, I'm just going to take a highlighter here, hit October, and let's zoom in. Okay, so first we'll start with our income. Let me get a pen. Anyone will do your sheet. I'll just use this one. I kind of like this one. So first off, if you're new here, my main source of income is hair. I'm a self-employed hairstylist. Um, next would be Shopify, which is my um, stationery shop. And then miscellaneous, I have... Um, which is normally Etsy or nails. I do do nails. Right now, I only have like one client that I'm doing. Um, so for the month, I've been looking back like at last month. I've kind of updated my um, monthly budget. And I'm coming in around like 3200 for the month. And then for Shopify, it's hard to tell because I'm anticipating some new products. Um, I do have the binders in my shop right now. So if that's something you'll be interested in, you can go over and purchase that. I'm going to, last month I did about two something for Shopify. So I'm going to put that in at 300 And for Etsy, it was around $150. Um, I did a set of nails, which is, I'll just put 200 200 for my miscellaneous, which is nails and Etsy and whatever else. So we have that's 35, 3700 that we're anticipating for the month. Also, if you're new here, um, I am self-employed all across the board. So what happens is I guesstimate my income. I try to get as close as possible. I generally try to go a little bit under and I end up over and any over just really goes to savings or taxes or any of these sinking funds and cash envelopes. So let's get started on our bill. So for the month of October, I'm going to say we're not going to have Victoria's Secrets anymore, but I'm just going to put them down. I'm going to start with my card note first. Also, um, I start with my most pertinent <laughs> um, things first. I don't list by the month. I mean, by the day. <sighs> by the date. I just list by the most important to me. And we have our Navy Federal Credit Union loan. And that is $96.11. <clears throat> we have car insurance. Like I said, I just made a payment, but this is the October one. And my car insurance also includes my life insurance. And that's $213.33. And then next up, we have T-Mobile. And I think I finally got my T-Mobile under control, I think. And when I looked last, it was 217 and some change. So I'm going to try to pay on that as well. And then we have Barclays, which is due on the 18th. And we have been giving Barclays $100. Um, I do plan to give them more throughout the month. So we're going to put them down at 200 Citibank. And Citibank, I've been given 40 We're going to bump them up to 50 They may get 100 this month, but just to, for right now, we'll keep it at 50 uh, We know Amazon comes in. 
that's already been paid. And that is 13.77 CNP 38 and that's already been paid. Ulta that's already been paid and y'all the thing is I can't remember what I gave Ulta. I think I gave them 32. I'll correct it when it's close out time or probably before close out time. Um, <clears throat> I have Victoria's Secrets listed down here. It is the month of October. I've already paid them. So I'm going to give them 72 because I've already paid them like 32, so I think, or 30. So I think I have 42 left. So we'll just leave that as a total $72. And then Walmart. I've paid Walmart. And so far, I've given Walmart $28. So I'm going to leave that. And then we have Canva, which is $13.77 as well. Insta Ink. Now, I have it down on the 20th, but I believe it came out on the 15th. And that is 20. It's like $19.99, but I just put 20. Um, Apple. Like the Apple bill just came out. It was three. I have two 349s. Then I have um, a 299. So that's like seven, two dollars. And one is for storage, and one is for um, for the down before. And they broke up the 349, which is the Apple Care. So Apple Care is three two 349s. I don't know why they break it up like that, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> we have Booth Rant. And I think we're in another five week. So it doesn't have a date. So if we're in five weeks for um, October, that would be a thousand dollars. Then we have Wayfair, which is due on the 25th and I'm actually trying to get this paid off before the interest kicks in on this and the interest kicks in on January 25th so I want to give them a hundred dollars this month okay and then we have Shopify which is due normally on the 8th um I'm not for sure what Shopify will be but I'm guesstimating 60 and it's generally from the month before and the flat fee is $29, and they charge me for um, little small fees and shipping. I can use another shipping site, but I just do it all in one. It's a little quicker. And then I have Community Bank. <clears throat> and I'm trying to give them 50 this month. And then we have Credit One. It's a... Um, very small credit card I shouldn't have got, but anyway, and I'm going to try to give them 50 to get that down. That's doing the fourth. I actually just paid them, um, but I can't remember what I paid them. That's crazy. Okay, so let's do a little calculating. So we came at $2,627.18. Let's write that down. All right, so we have our total here at $2,627.18. So now we're going to subtract that from the $3,700 that we're anticipating. And that leaves us with $1,072.82. So we're just going to leave it at $172. We're going to move that one um, seventy two, excuse me, one thousand and seventy two dollars up here. And then for savings, um, I've been trying to do ten dollars a week. I didn't do ten dollars a week, like transferred from my bank account. Plus, I'll put an extra ten dollars a week. So I'm just going to give this uh, 40 and this is I'm just going to put a high yield which is my capital one for the month is 40. And then 
I already have 30 in there, so that'll be 70. Okay, and then sinking funds. Um, I'm just going to start with, um, we already got the savings there, emergency fund. I'm just going to go ahead and list these real quick, and we'll come back and talk about them. Okay, you all, so we're back, and for emergency fund, um, I'd like to have 100 in there this month. Uh, Ball smooths. I don't know why I put this one down because um, I'm rethinking some things on the business I'm starting. So I'll just put 20 plus it took up space. But anyway, vacation this month. Oh my God. I'm going to try to at least give vacation $200. Um, taxes, 50. I'm going to put 150. Um, business supplies, 100. Booth rent. Now, I've had this envelope for a while, but I want to include booth rent because um, being that we're probably going on vacation in about three months, sometime in December, I want to maybe put a little bit aside a month um, so that way when that week comes, it's already paid. And then a week ahead, I want 100 in there for the month. Let's do a total real quick. So our total is $720. And we're going to subtract that from, this would leave $1,002. No, shoot, shoot, shoot. That'll leave $1,032. Total is 40 here. $1,032. Okay, so $1,032, subtract $720, that leaves us with $312, so we need to distribute that. Now, again, I have to preface this by saying that I may and may not be a zero-based budgeter. Um, I can do my best to zero-base my budget, but... Um, I don't necessarily have to so because i'm self-employed and this my income fluctuates so um towards that i'm looking over here to see what extra i'm giving i know we're going to be giving about 200 dollars towards debt christmas uh 60 um let's see 60 20. we need to make this 100 i already know that and really, Christmas gives 30 times 4 is 120. Um, IRA, 20. Let me do that. That's 220, 240. And so, let me just do a quick to zero base it out. We have 240. That leaves me with $72. I'm just going to put the $72 here in self-care. And so we should have $312. Let's just add this up. Because it may be more. So, you know, whatever. So we have a total of $312. And I have zero based my budget out but like i said this fluctuates so if there's extra it will go to mainly probably to debt i didn't include i just realized i didn't include my miscellaneous which it happens so that'll be the little extra that i have it goes to miscellaneous i'm gonna just make a note right here this is our monthly budget again we're anticipating a total of 3700 amongst all these things again like i said when you'll see when i do my close out that it really goes up a little bit like last month hair was 3500 um and i anticipated like 3200 or 3000 so um, i like to stay on the lower end so again anything extra will be going towards uh debt um and what else and i also want to make sure that i pay t-mobile on time this month because they're another reason that my, you know, budget get all over the place. And again, we'll be paying Victoria's Secrets off. So in the month of November, we won't have a bill. Um, I've already given Victoria's Secrets 
half of this. So I'm going to go ahead and give them the other half. I'm waiting on some things to come out of my bank account. So that frees up some money for the first of the month. Next month, um, I really want my first of the month to be nothing but uh, subscriptions. So let's pop this in. Okay, and now what I generally do is just go to uh, the months at a glance, pretty much like this here. And I go ahead and write in pretty much all the bills that I do. And I don't know if that's something I want to see, uh, but I like to take the note pages, not the note pages. I like to take this section over here and put out my goals for the month, any type of notes. Um, first of all, I'm going to put down my goals. Um, for hair, income-wise, I'd like to come in at 4000 Okay, that would be excellent. Um, Shopify, I would like to come in at 600 That's a very low goal. My goal really for Shopify is always in the thousands, but I'm just going to keep it real. <laughs> at C, I would love to come in at 600 as well. Oh. Storage there, so... Um, I'll keep this short and simple, and I'll just fill in these things later on my own. But that is my goal for Etsy. Um, I want to increase a little bit, just a little bit, not much, um, my nail clients. Um, I just I just do this one, and that's because she requested me. But I'm going to try to do better about promoting that. I'm just going to put 100 for that. Okay, birthdays this month. I have three birthdays this month. Well, really two. Um, my dog, Bentley's, is the 14th. And then, well, he don't get anything. But my husband's birthday is um, the 17th. My daughter's birthday is the 26th. And something else is going on this month. I can't remember. Um, but for right now, like I said, because the storage is a little low, I'll go in and fill all this out off camera and I'll do like a month at a glance later. But um, this is it, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. But again, that is it for today's video. If you have any questions, do me a favor, leave them down below. Our next video will be our September closeout. Then I'll be doing a setup of my um, budget planner. And I'm going to get back to some more regular planning videos. It's just I just haven't had the chance and I'm not really planning at the moment. So that is all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more videos like this from me, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload videos like this. And do me a favor, if you're new here, just put down in the comment section I'm new. Even if you haven't decided to subscribe yet, do me a favor, leave me a comment in the comment section and just say hello. I would love to talk to you in the comment section and hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.